I'm Kathy, and if you're new to my channel, I do food and product reviews. And today I have some keto ice cream. So you might remember last year, um, at this time, Aldi came out with three uh, keto ice creams. Uh, they had the peanut butter fudge, cookie dough, and mint chocolate chip. I did review the peanut butter fudge and the cookie dough, and they were both very good. Um, but I'm excited about these two flavors. These, I guess, are for this year. I'm not sure exactly how it works at Aldi and um, how long these are going to be around. I think the other ones were around a while. They would come and go, I think, in my Aldi anyway. So anyway, this is the butter pecan, which I love, love, love butter pecan ice cream, and brownie batter. This one has four net carbs, and this one is five net carbs. I did let this set out for a few minutes. So hopefully, so here is the butter pecan. It looks like vanilla. Ooh, it smells like butter pecan. I love the smell of butter pecan. So it is butter pecan ice cream with roasted and salted pecans. They also had a salted caramel. I did not get that one. Ooh, look at the swirl. So this one is vanilla ice cream with a no sugar added brownie batter swirl. Okay, so I will list all the ingredients and the and the uh, nutrition. This this one is three servings. The whole container has 670 calories. So this is four net carbs that's per serving. All right, let's set out about 10 minutes or so. Let me get a pecan. It just smells so good. I need a butter pecan candle. Ah! Cool. So I noticed if you don't let this sit out for a while, not a while, maybe five, ten minutes, it is flaky, but it's weird to call ice cream flaky, but, but it's more creamy if you let it sit out for a few minutes. This is tasty. It's buttery. I am a fan. I am a fan. And these are these were three ninety nine, I believe. This is the Sunday. So Sunday Shop is the brand on this at Aldi. I think I do like this brand better than some of the other keto ice creams that are out there. This would um, be hard to stop eating. This one is really good, really really good. So I really don't buy these very often. Uh, and I think that's one reason because, you know, even though it is low carb, I would probably still eat the whole thing. So I'm, a lot of times I'm just better off not having it in the house at all. So I'm not tempted. All right, this is the brownie batter. Remember, it's the vanilla ice cream with the swirl. So it basically tastes like a, like a fudge swirl ice cream. That's what it tastes like to me. I don't know if I would get brownie batter. It just kind of tastes like fudge. But it's creamy. I'm not getting really an aftertaste at all. Um, yeah, very good. I think I like these better than the other two that I tried last year, which was the peanut butter fudge and the cookie dough. I'm getting a slight aftertaste now. It's not bad. Um, but it is there. So I think if you're not used to eating um, different types of sweeteners, um, you might get that aftertaste, but if you're used to it, I think you'll love these. Oops, I gotta have another bite of the butter pecan. Cause out of all the ones I've tried, out of the four that I've tried, the butter pecan is my favorite. favorite. So this one's good too, don't get me wrong. Uh, but if I had to choose one, I would definitely choose the butter pecan because it is yummy. I'm not really getting a, um, it said roasted and salted pecans. I get the pecans. I, I'm not really getting a salted flavor at all, uh, but it's good. And it shows on, it looks like there's a ton of pecans in there, but there's not that many. It doesn't quite look the same. Let me see if there's, oh yeah, wait a minute. There. So if it just not quite as many as it's showing. But yeah, I recommend both of these. I think they're really good. I think they may have just came out last week. I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure how long they'll be around, you know, all these kind of weird, but I think it's a good sign that um, they brought they brought out some new flavors um, this year because, you know, I said they had the three last year, three this year. So, yeah, so hopefully they'll be around for a while. If you've tried either one of these um, or the salted caramel, uh, let me know in the comments below. Or if you tried the ones from last year, did you like those? Did you hate those? Uh, yeah, let me know. So that brings me to the question of the day. This is for the ones that are on a keto diet. Have you tried any of the keto cereals? Uh, I had a request to review Magic Spoon, I believe. And I've seen it advertised a lot on uh, Instagram. But I looked it up and it's like $10 a box. So I couldn't bring myself um, to get that. But I am looking at one I saw at Walmart and it's still like $6.98. So if you've tried any keto cereals or know of one that's um, not as expensive, uh, let me know in the comments below. I don't eat cereal much because of the carbs. Um, so it's pretty expensive. I don't know if I would, if I miss cereal that much to pay that much for the cereal, but I'm gonna try to get the one at Walmart, uh, which I said was like 6.97, something like that, which is still pricey for a box of cereal. So if you've tried any of the keto cereals, uh, let me know in the comments below. All right, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about hitting that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time.